Hello viewers, greetings to you and welcome to my channel. I want to show you how to connect a DC load to your charge controller. Remember the charge controller is connected to your battery. So this is a 12 volt battery. You can actually power all uh, any 12 volt um, any 12 volt DC appliance with this battery. Uh, what I mean is that you can use this battery to power any DC appliance, but that appliance or that load must be a 12 volt load because this is a 12 volt battery. So for it to power, it must be a 12 volt uh, load. Now there are some loads that they will write there that from 6 volt to 12 volt you can power them. Those kind of loads you can also use them. But like this one is a 12 volt uh, load. This is a 12 volt bulb. So for it to power. Uh, you must connect it to a 12 volt power source you cannot connect this to an inverter because the inverter is uh, ac what enters the inverter is dc and what is coming out it's ac so if you connect this load to your inverter the output of the inverter the ac output of the inverter it do not come up it do not on because uh, it is not an ac load so for us to power it we need to connect it to uh, a DC power source now we have to connect it through the charge controller because the charge controller will be able to regulate the operation of this load if you connect it direct to the battery if the battery is low it is completely drained uh, this uh, th there will be no control there's no control measure when the charge controller is not uh, connected to the battery because the load is just drawing the power directly from the battery so there's no regulation it will draw the power until the battery becomes zero uh, percent it will drain it to zero percent but with the help of a charge controller you can set the low voltage disconnect that when it gets to 12 volts the the, the charge controller should disconnect the load the load will just go off automatically so that's why it is good for you to connect the load through the charge controller so here is our charge controller and we have six terminals the first two they are for the solar input positive and negative the second two terminals are for the batteries uh, uh input that is uh, this is our battery positive this positive terminal is going to the battery as uh, you can see then this is the negative of uh, the negative terminal of the battery now when you are connecting a solar charge charge controller the principle is that you should connect it first to the battery and this light will come up before you connect the solar panels don't connect solar panels before connecting the battery it is not good it can destroy your charge controller and that's the problem many people are having after installation when you connect your solar panels before the battery it can destroy the internal circuit of the charge controller and when you want to disconnect this system you want to disconnect the charge controller from this battery you will first of all disconnect the solar panels before the battery remove the terminals of the solar panels before disconnecting the batteries so connect battery first before connecting uh solar panels then when you are disconnecting disconnect solar panels first before disconnecting the battery so this is my load this is a dc load all dc loads they have positive terminal and negative terminal all dc loads so this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal also you need a breaker the breaker is to regulate if you want to disconnect you need to switch it off so that there will be no sparks if you want to also connect you switch it off then after connecting you now switch it on because if there is no breaker as you're connecting if the battery is fully charged there will be uh, the battery will spark so uh, for you to avoid that you need a breaker so that it will be you'll be able to safely connect the load so we are going to connect the load uh, negative terminal of the load to the negative uh, terminal of the charge controller so you need to tie it very very firm so that it will not shake the table will not uh, remove then this is the positive to so the positive uh, terminal of the charge controller you also need to tie it very very fast uh, firm So look at the charge controller. <clears throat> this is the sign for the load. It shows that this uh, charge controller is ready. You can see the bar is full. But this one is empty because uh, there's no sun. The, the solar input is zero. But uh, if there's solar input, you see these bars. 
there will be uh, blinking then here the load this uh, bar is full it is bold it shows you that the the controller is ready to power any load that you have connected to the to the charge controller so let's see we're going to switch on our breaker to see if this load will come up yeah so we're switching it on this is our dc load it is on then from this charge controller now you can monitor the voltage to see if it is discharging fast or not then you can also check check the current the the amperage what this load is consuming the current that is leaving this battery so you can check it from this uh, charge controller by pressing this button uh, all charge controllers they have their own uh, way of operation so this bulb is taking out 3.3 amps 3.3 amps from these batteries 3.3 amps so this is how to connect a dc load to your charge controller it could be uh, a water pump an ac or any load that is dc this is how to connect it another thing is that you must make sure that the the, the current of the load is not higher than the rated current of the charge controller the rated current of this charge controller is 60 amps so the load you are going to connect here should not be higher than the rated current of the charge controller so this is how to connect a load a dc load to your charge controller even uh, solar street lights you can connect them here and do your settings here from the charge controller you can set it that the charge controller should be on from 6 pm to 6 am automatic once it is 6 p.m., the charge controller will switch on the load. Once it is 6 a.m., the charge controller will also switch off the load when the sun comes up. So thank you for watching. See you in my next video.